So before we get into the unboxing video, let me just say, no, it's not a clickbait. What I did was I did the unboxing like a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, but I didn't get a chance to upload it yet. So that's why. In that video, I also mentioned that I would not connect the stand to my table. One, I don't want it to damage my table. And two, for more flexibility, that's why I have my own stand, my own rig, and that I will show you in some other video. But for the sake of testing, I said, you know what, I am going to connect it to my table because I believe most people will connect it to the table. Anyway, the issue is this piece right here. Because I didn't have enough space on the table, I said, you know what, let me just look around. Imagine you want to connect it uh, to a shelf or uh, something else. So I connected it to a bookshelf and this happened. So as you can see, the shelf is actually damaged. So that's why I want to include this piece in the video. So if you're going to connect it to your table, make sure your table is low and you won't be able to see underneath it. They also say you could connect it to glass or stone, but I definitely wouldn't. Or if you have to, if you are going to, then I would recommend you use maybe a piece of wood or worst case scenario, a piece of cardboard or something. So let me just say, I'm not trying to bash this company, I'm not bashing a company, I'm not bashing anyone. I do believe it is a good solution, you know, for certain problems. And in my opinion, it doesn't cost that much. It was uh, 27 euros or so, 28 euros. However, I do believe they made a mistake in the design. I, think, I believe they should have seen it. Maybe they did, maybe just said, you know what? Just let it be because, you know, it's going to be on the table and no one is going to look underneath it. And But the problem is, like I said, if you're going to connect it to a shelf above your head or maybe your table is a little bit taller or whatever, that's where the problem is going to be. I wouldn't tell you not to buy it. I have to test it out a little bit more. It's also a very easy fix. So I'm hoping the company will fix it. Maybe there is a newer version that is fixed. But if not, I believe it's something that could be fixed easily. I could fix this for like just a few cents. I could fix it by installing a stop somewhere or just by installing a washer or what it could do or should have done was made this cup a little bit deeper. Imagine if you connect to glass, you definitely don't want this pushing against your glass when you try to tighten it. So that's the problem right there. Now let's get to the unboxing and uh, let's see what I have to say about the product. Okay, thanks. So what I'm about to unbox should make all my unboxings from now on way easier and maybe even more professional. So let's take a look at what it is. As you can see, it's a phone stand which you can connect to your table and this way you can film from above. I did notice the box is a little bit damaged, so I'm hoping everything will be good on the inside. A little bit more information any brand, Tari on. Okay, well, let's get into the unboxing. Let me be really careful before I break anything. Thank you. 
Hmm. Okay. I don't like the sound of this too much. Anyway, I'll just put it aside for now. Let's see what else we have. This will be the clamp to clamp it onto your table or whatever else. Look at the stand itself. And as you can see, I do have problems filming because I'm actually filming from an angle and this one should allow me to film from above. Okay, let me uh, look into it. I'm gonna try to set it up and then I'm gonna see if it's any good. table right now but I don't know first impression is not really that good 
I do think it's a little bit wobbly and it just it doesn't really feel that sturdy yeah first impression so anyway it's on my table right now and this is what it looks like from above and from underneath so if I'm gonna be unboxing can I get everything in it no I'm on one time zoom switch to a wide shot don't want the side, the side of the table in it so then I will go back to so now I'm on two times zoom that's really so this would be more for just checking out details because I won't be able to get a lot in a shot and something I did notice again, there is no groove, so it does turn my phone off, and I really don't like that too much. And as you can see, it's connected to the table, but I'm not going to connect it to the table because one, I don't want it to damage the table, and two, I want to be able to move it around whenever I want so let's just get this out of here so I made my own stand because like I said before I don't want to connect it to the table and this way I could connect it lower I could put it there or I could put it on top and I could move it around so I could record that anywhere I want to record I could move it in and I can move it out. So I believe this should give me a little bit more flexibility. From higher, then move it down a little bit. So, let's give it a test. So, what's my first impression? Well, I do have a feeling it might break soon. Of course, I hope not. I hope I can make many videos using it because the idea is good, you know, for, for filming from above. But I just think the quality is not really that great. It was 27 euros. So, yeah, I don't know, is it, is it a lot, 27 euros? 
the first impression. Yeah, I wouldn't really tell you to run out and buy it at the moment. I want to test it a little bit more first. And yeah, I guess I'll see how it is in, in a few months time. So fingers crossed. Okay, thanks for watching my uh, unboxing. If you like, leave a like, a sub would be great as always. And I'll see you in the next one.